Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that Bob Iger and the Disney board are not the only ones to blame here over at Disney and what they're doing with the multiple franchises that they own, such as Planet of the Apes, The Simpsons, and let's not forget about Alien, as well as Marvel, Star Wars, and a whole lot more on top of that. But we got to really look at the board and we specifically have to go deeper and look at the top shareholders such as BlackRock and Vanguard, more so BlackRock, that is a real cause for concern behind closed doors at Disney. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you are new and like this video to see future updates. I'm also on Twitter at Mike Zero One. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And let's get right into exactly what's going on here with the ongoing Disney lockdown that just got even worse that actually was initiated by Bob Iger. So we kind of touched on this yesterday, and there's a lot of developments surrounding this quote-unquote lockdown for a lot of their projects up and coming for their multiple franchises that they do own, and how things are really begin to, beginning to go out of control, to say things simply here, is that there's a lot of things that Bob Iger is double-guessing about, you know, pretty much trying to reassure himself and those at the board about what they really want to do with furthering these agendas and whether or not they want to keep on upping the ante with that or reducing and backtracking on that after everything that happened with the whole DEI situation. We'll talk about that a little bit later this week. But what's interesting about this though is that this got even more intense surrounding this Disney lockdown, surrounding all of these movies, TV shows, etc. Let's get into it. Now mind you, this is nothing connected to the strikes or anything like that. Now, with Bob Iger and the board going through much damage control for Disney, the Disney lockdown strategy by Iger just got even more serious behind the scenes. Not only are all live-action remake adaptations for Disney movies from the animated ones now are being put on a serious pause to rethink their strategy, what's even more revealing is that part of this lockdown also will have to do with the lockdown of major developments surrounding many Disney Plus movies and TV shows that were set to arrive in the coming years as Disney rethinks its strategy for both the movies such as the live action remakes and more. Part of this lockdown will also have much to do with the pausing to the follow-up films and plans for Disney Plus shows as well as movies to Alien Romulus, a 2024 film in which Disney now owns the Alien franchise. All plans for Alien moving onwards are now put on this lockdown as well to rethink how to map out planned sequels with, of course, that was initially discussed. Now, many of the board members are calling for more diversity and agendas to be thrown in, surprisingly, while others are calling for to focus more so on story and character development instead in order to please the most amount of customers. Now, this comes just before Disney's upcoming earnings call, as they are beginning to panic over that information becoming public, surrounding their earnings for, of course, 2023. Now, let me just stop here quick before I get to the next major piece of this development, is that... So not only are the live action remakes of the original animated films being a part of this lockdown, this deep pause if you will, but it also concerns everything with the Alien Romulus follow-ups. I don't know if you guys knew this, but uh, Disney does own Alien as a franchise now, much like how they do with Star Wars, Marvel, and everything else like The Simpsons, etc. This is actually quite concerning because we have a lot of board members that are calling for more diversity and more of these nonsense agendas to be thrown into these movies. Now, everything happening with DEI, you would figure that things would maybe slowly resolve and it seems like the board and even BlackRock, one of the top shareholders, they want to keep this ball rolling. They want to keep making this happen and really upping the ante with all of this but it doesn't stop there oh it doesn't stop there it gets worse so disney is looking at other franchises specifically one that i think a lot of you out there have loved over the years that many of you may not even know disney now acquires the rights to and is in full control over and this is no other than Planet of the Apes. We're going to be getting multiple sequels by Disney, multiple spin-off movies and shows related to Planet of the Apes, and it's not going to end there. Disney's also looking to buy 
other franchises slowly but surely over the next couple of years. Now, with the Planet of the Apes, this is where things get worse, is that Bob Iger is the one who added this other layer to the Disney lockdown to put a pause on planned alien cinematic universes, of course, that is going to be expanded by Disney as they rethink what they really want to do with that in terms of frequency and related to their nonsense agendas. This also involves a pause on the expansion of Planet of the Apes, since they own that franchise now as well. This lockdown that was initiated by Iger is creating chaos at Disney, leading to further damage and losses at the company, along with delays. Further agendas by the board are being planned to enter into the Apes sequels as well, while other board members are trying to fight that. The live-action remake of Hunchback of Notre Dame was also a part of that lockdown. And get this, this also involves a live-action adaptation of Hercules. I don't know if you knew this, but... This is something that has been in the works for a while now, and now they're putting that also on this deep pause to rethink their strategy on upping the ante when it comes to diversity and their crazy agendas and how there's this big shakeup between the board. There's a lot of board members, not a lot of, not all of them, but a good amount of them that are really kind of headbutting with the others to kind of try to stop this nonsense and to put an end to all of it. And it's just a constant mess, and that's why you have this lockdown getting initiated by Iger and the board to kind of just converse, really kind of pause development on everything, you know, even though nothing's being written for a lot of these projects. But they really are trying to essentially either make things better or worse. And that's the big headbutting going on right now between Iger and the board and some of the board members going against other members out there it's not a big surprise and look we've had this happen before with the two bobs the two ceos as i like to call it the battle of the bobs you know this has been an ongoing problematic situation happening over at disney it just doesn't keep you know improving it just keeps declining everything keeps getting worse and so you have a lot of scenarios where in this situation where you have people like Bob Iger trying to tame the backlash of Snow White and everything happening with other live action remakes, it's a cheap tactic by hiding what you're about to unveil in the upcoming movies and TV shows, whatever have you. So given that you have things like Alien, Planet of the Apes, and other things out there now under Disney, it really makes you wonder, what other franchises are they really chasing? You know, can you think of anything, guys? That would be a very interesting conversation. What franchise do you think Disney's gonna grab next? As of now, they don't really have anything concrete that they have their eyes set on, but they do wanna acquire the rights of other franchises out there. It's almost like Disney wants to become this monopoly by taking everything over. I mean, we saw what they did with some elements of The Simpsons, Star Wars, Marvel, and let's not forget about Indiana Jones. I mean, that's just for starters. So I think that this is a very serious thing that's happening over at Disney. This could very well make things worse if they really push these agendas further. But anyway, guys, drop a comment below. Feel me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you.